Hey D, how much it cost? Two dollars. That's two right. Dollars. Two dollars. So we did a two dollar DIY project on a couple holders. Now we're gonna do one for the wheels. Now here's the first one that I made for the wheels. Kind of had a stagger here, but it's not so good with the trucks. So I'm gonna show you how to make one to hold the trucks. Got a little beefier close pins here. I got these from the Dollar General this time, so it costs you a little more than two dollars, like two dollars and eight cents or something like that. Depends on where you live at. So I'm trying to build it. Easy DIY project. Easy to do once again. Now we're gonna do we're gonna stick, stick this here on the edge. And the same part these the inside the close pin here. So you and we're gonna glue one side of the pin. So just hold it steady for a little bit. Let it set up. So enough they can just open the post just like that. Easy, simple. Now it's up to you how far you want to space them out. Here we are the next day, and the glue's dry. Our clothes hangers here are nice and snug and firm onto the block of wood. And then before, just want to do one piece of the clothespin so you can be able to open and close it just like this. And you're done. See, there you go. A little bit glue's out on it, but it's fine. Check everything here. Okay, and they're all working as they're supposed to. Now, you can go in here and also use this to color your wheels. All you gotta do is drop that bad boy in there like that. And it holds it in place. Like that. So about 13 here that you can hold it at one time. But here, this is the first one I did. So I did multiple wheels at the same time. But as I say for uh, it's, it's a quite a little bit clean up the tool that it has is a uh, clear but it, it broke on me so that's why I decided to uh, use uh, this method instead plus it's two dollars and it's something a nice little cool project to do now this also can do your trucks here but it's kind of limited because let's say uh, do your trucks in like this it's cool but you gotta make sure you get in between here to get that uh, truck. So if you go here, this way is gonna be blocked by the uh, pins. So instead of having on both sides, I did one where I can just do it on one side at the same time. So this is gonna be used for multiple pur purposes. So I'm gonna use this my wheels also. So when you do it, just spread them out like this. So go every every other. Now, if you just want to do your trucks by itself, just uh space them out so you can go side by side. So here I can just grab it in the booth, spray it. Flip it around, spread, non destructing, hit on the uh, sides, boom, boom, on both sides here, and also hit it on the tops. And if you want, hit the bottom, a little spray, a little spray on the bottom here, and then to get you uh, in the, you know, get it all covered. All right, for the trucks, I'm gonna go to my go to here, is the old rust 
big ammo. Load up an airbrush. Spray away. multiple trucks at the same time also throwing some uh, wheels here because I you know need some more wheels to be uh, painted also I uh, said before this um, broke on the loops here uh, right here see it but we still had to clean up on the edges here of the wheel you can see that there so I clean it up so it still come out good got more done using this jig here remember it's only two dollars to use this highly recommend it if you can't find these or you know you don't want to pay the price for this type of uh, tool it's understandable just buy this buy some cool pins 
piece of wood you got laying around in the layout and just make a little jig. Thanks for watching. Always please uh, subscribe and share the content if you, you know like it. If you're watching, then you do like it. So I want to share and also thank for everybody who subscribed to the channel uh, thus far. Stay tuned for uh, more videos coming to the channel. There's more product we use and I uh, got a lot of stuff that I didn't get to. I've been doing other things, but keep watching.